Hello, this is Elaine from Antelope Beads, and today I'm going to show you how to use the wax nylon cord to make a both a single and a multiple strand bracelet. And I have here some cord, I have some different beads, and I have a clasp, a couple different endings, and I have a little pick from the Naughty Do It All kit that I'm going to use to help me place my knots. So let's get started. First thing we will do is string on some beads. And I've got a few pre-strung here. Again, the cord, because it is waxed, sort of serves as its own needle. So if I just pull up on the end, it will allow me to just string on some beads. Really pretty straightforward. And I'm not going to string them on all right now. I wanted to show you how to do the knotting. I'm going to place my first knot, leaving probably about a three to four inch tail. And I'm going to cut the cord at least twice as long as my finished piece to account for the space that the knots take up. So I've got a knot here. I'm going to slide a bead up. <clears throat> and to get my half hitch going, I am going to drape the piece over two fingers, cross it over, and then push it through from the back. And that allows me to establish a little half hitch knot there. And then I can put my little pick in the loop, hopefully keeping the bead on the other side of the loop. There we go. Okay. Tighten it down. And then the pick lets me slide the knot up close to the bead. I'm going to pull the pick out. And then I'm going to, going to both pull on this cord as I use my fingernail to push the knot up. Let me just do that again. I slide a bead up. I'm going to form a half hitch. Coming around my two fingers, back. Establishing a loop. Put the pick in, snug it up pretty close to the bead, and then again I'm going to pull the cord while I'm pushing up with the knot to get it right in place. So I've got those knots, there's really no room between the beads, they're not going to go anywhere. So I will continue that process for about six inches, and then I want for another strand to do some Kazuri beads along with some wood beads. Now these have slightly bigger holes and so if I just use a single knot like this that knot may slide over the beads. So I get around that by using a double cord. So I've got here a piece of 24 gauge wire folded it in half. I'm going to fold the cord in half and just pinch this down and I've really made myself a little wire needle. You can also use a big eye needle or a twisted wire needle. This is just a real simple process if you don't have anything else around to get going. So again, I'm going to string on some beads. And I'll get about four or five on here. Okay, that's good to start with here. Again, I'm going to place my first knot leaving a little bit of a tail. I'll be using that to finish with. <clears throat> Form an overhand knot, pull it tight, push the bead up, and just like before, I'm going to take the piece that I've already knotted, drape it over two fingers, bring it all the way around, push it between my two fingers, and I've got an overhand knot. I'll pick that up with my pick. And again, I'm going to push the knot up while I pull the cord with the other hand. Now, there's a real advantage to using two strands, and that is if I need to tighten my knot, I can just separate the two strands. Okay. I'm going to do one more here. Okay. Come around over, through, pick up the knot, tighten. I'm going to again push the knot while I pull the cord, 
and use that advantage of having the two strands to tighten. So again, I'll continue this for six strands. So now we're ready to finish, and I have some three strands here that are previously knotted, and I have two that are done with a double strand. That's the wood one, and then the one with the Kazuri beads, and then the silver beads are just with a single strand. I've already got one end of the clasp on here. So what I'll do now is I will cut these ends off, and I'm gonna be using a little cord ending for the ending on this three strand piece, and this is a three millimeter cord ending. So I'll cut the strands off to about mm, half an inch above the beads, and I am going to now hold them together. The wax does help hold them in place, but I am gonna add a little bit of glue just to make sure they all stay put while I put them in the cord ending. A little bit of glue. And because the strands are relatively wide, they do tend to wanna come apart on me. But there we go, I think we've got that in place. And then I'm gonna put some more glue on this piece. And I'm going to insert it into the cord ending, wait for a couple of minutes, and I will have a three-strand bracelet with a cord ending and a hook and eye clasp. 